it's the last two miles of this trip, and while it's been a little shorter than I expected, it was still good. There's really not a whole lot I think I can be certain of with the way this year is going. But um, one thing is for sure, and that is the weatherman is phoning it in this summer. Phoning it in big time. We can't predict everything, but we can try to be as prepared as possible. Go with the flow and adapt. And if that means dredging through some cruddy weather to get to camp, well then that's what it is and it's okay. Clouds will clear off, clothes will dry out, and shoes will too. And you sure do feel a whole lot more grateful when the sun comes back out again. Not long after I got to camp around dinner time, an elderly lady came in from off the Chattooga Trail and went skinny dipping. And I'm certainly not uh, that brave or carefree, whatever you want to call it. She was just having her own moment of freedom out enjoying nature and it's kind of cute, but anyhow, today I decided to cut it a bit short. Yesterday I covered way more mileage than I thought I would, and it didn't make much sense to me to just stay out here again another day just for the sake of backpacking or because I'm already here. I think it can kind of lose the fun at that point because it starts to become more like an obligation than just doing what you set out to do. I set out to camp on the Tatuga River. I did just that and now it's time to go back. I tell you what, the heat was pretty intense um, even in the early morning. And thankfully, there was quite a bit of morale-boosting refreshments, courtesy of the Foothills Trail, available along the way. But still, I couldn't help but think, with all this intense heat, some of that rain from yesterday was sounding pretty good. And I think my prayer was taken a little too seriously. Out of nowhere, a thunderstorm rolled in and interrupted lunchtime. The sky went black, the wind picked up, thunder sounded like it was coming from every direction, and there was lightning every couple seconds. It was pretty intimidating. The best thing to do was find shelter the best I could and stay put, which is not the easiest thing. It's a whole lot easier to let your thoughts and emotions run wild and go running through the forest crying hysterically thinking you're gonna die but the best thing to do when the situation seems that severe is occupy your mind and control your emotions so I could see some blue peeking through the clouds again, and another sign that things were clearing up was the bugs started swarming at me once again. So then the thunder was just very, very faint and distant, and the rain let off. I know a lot of times we see these really glamorous pictures from the inside of someone's tent, and it looks so wonderful, but they don't show you the torrential downpours and the swarming bugs and ridiculous heat. You don't really think about that. And while it seems like really cliche and corny wisdom to end on, that's one of the biggest parts of backpacking, I think, is going with the flow, 
accepting there are some things you just can't do much about and being smart with the decisions you make and the things that you do have control over. So, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs>